Grace to you and peace in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is a real pleasure to be able to worship with you in this way today. This time of pandemic is and has been very challenging for all of us and tiring as well. Your bishops wanted to make sure that our rostered leaders could take their vacations for much needed rest and so and that congregations would still be able to gather in worship. That is why we and the synodical assistants to the bishop are providing these sermons for use today through the middle of September. Because the harvest is plentiful, but quite frankly, the workers are getting exhausted. In our gospel lesson today, we hear that Jesus has compassion on the crowds that were following him. I hope that during this time of pandemic, you have felt that Jesus is close to you and having great compassion for you and for all of God's children who are struggling with the pandemic, but others also with racism and police brutality, with homelessness, with hunger, with war and displacement, with loneliness and isolation, and so many other troubles. Jesus continues to come to us, to each and every one of us, and speaks to us a message of hope, of love, of grace, and of peace. But that is not all that Jesus says to us. Jesus is still calling us, each and every one of us, to go out into the harvest to proclaim the good news in word and in deed. And please hear me now, Jesus is not just calling pastors, no. This is a call to each and every one of us who wants to be followers of Jesus. I know that some of you may already be coming uncomfortable and perhaps some of you are cringing now. And it gets worse. Jesus warns us before we go that it is not going to be easy. In fact, it may be very hard. However, let's remember that the realities of first century Palestine, living under Roman occupation and oppression, and our 21st century Canadian context are very different. Granted that there are worries and dangers now as provinces are opening up, we will still need to take COVID-19 very seriously as we head out into the harvest. So today, Jesus might not warn us about the possibilities of flogging or being dragged in front of governors and kings. Jesus might instead warn us to wear masks and to wash our hands frequently and to keep two meters apart and to gather in groups of 25 people indoors and 50 outdoors as long as there is safe physical distancing, or at least that's what Jesus might say to us here in Manitoba. Our current reality is that we have learned during the pandemic time that there are people hungry, hungry for hearing the good news. I heard stories across our church of inactive members returning to participate in online worship, of total strangers, perhaps seekers, joining in worship, of more people joining in online worship than had been present when we were gathering together live. I have also heard about amazing generosity, both in terms of the ongoing financial contributions to the church and other charities, but in people contributing to be willing to contact isolated members, to provide worship and music leadership, to continue to run feeding and other outreach programs within social guidelines for safety and so on. We have proved in this crisis that we can be creative and responsive to God's call. We are reaching out and sharing God's news in ways that we have never imagined and with effects that we have never experienced before. Let's face it, we have been struggling for a long time about how to take evangelism seriously in this time and place. And I remember, I remind you that evangelism, sharing the good news, 
is part of discipleship to which we all are called, each and every one of us. My mom and I have been reading Life Together by Dietrich Bonhoeffer. We are trying a COVID-19 book club via FaceTime. In his chapter on ministry, Bonhoeffer talks about evangelism as the ministry of proclaiming, one of the ministries that we are all called to take part in. For those of you who haven't read his book or who haven't read it for a long time, the other ministries Bonhoeffer calls us to are holding one's tongue, meekness, listening, helpfulness, bearing, as in bearing one another's burdens, and authority. Bonhoeffer acknowledges our difficulty with evangelism. He writes, added to the fear of one's responsibility to speak, there is the fear of the other person. What a difficult thing it often is to utter the name of Jesus Christ in the presence even of a brother. Who dares to force himself upon his neighbor? I think we resonate with Bonhoeffer's words. I know it's difficult for many of us and it's uncomfortable, but Bonhoeffer goes on to remind us it is our right and our responsibility to do so. What I'm trying to say is that in this topsy-turvy time that we have been living through, we have been shown that people are hungry for God's good news of hope and love and grace and of peace. People are yearning to know that Jesus has compassion on them, for them in their lives. I'm asking you, I'm pleading with you, let us help each other to learn how to go out into the harvest so that we are ready when our cities and our provinces open up to listen to the needs and to the yearning and to the opportunities to share a word of good news and invite people to come and see, to come and worship, to know the love and compassion of Jesus. God bless and strengthen each one of you as we all continue to deepen our discipleship. Amen.